So what you have to understand about Spinoza's philosophy is that he is considered uh, a rationalist and he's considered one of the most radical philosophers of the early enlightenment or the enlightenment. Um, he had a very, uh, I would say he displayed a very high confidence in the ability to reason to such an extent that he thought that by a geometric proof alone that you could, uh, you know, in a sense, discover the nature of God, where, you know, you have these basic definitions of what things are, and then in turn, you take these definitions, you take these uh, postulates, you know, these basic logical ideas of how the world and the universe work, and then you just kind of see how they interact, and you inevitably reach a conclusion. It's not something that you can choose or choose not to believe. It's just the natural result of what you've written back or, you know, the ideas at play, right? And so I, 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 I was, I, I've been kind of able to see that because I've been studying for, like, the SAT and uh, I've gotten to the point where it's doing, like, algebra and exponents and that sort of thing. And all throughout math, you essentially have these infinitude of possible answers that ultimately boils down to just a few basic equations, right? So you can describe the vast, infinite, you know, uh, number of ways that a fire hose, for example, can spray, you know, what direction it's going to spray in just with the simple equation of, um, excuse me for a minute while I try to remember this. I think it's, a uh, it's, uh, something along the lines of MX to the power of two plus NX plus, uh, B is, the equation that you can use, that you can manipulate certain variables of in order to uh, try and, you know, discover and understand these principles. And so what you kind of see within logic is that, um, and excuse me, what you kind of see within math is uh, just a few basic ideas reoccurring and uh, being manipulated by uh, the human mind or maybe some, you know, how they act in relation to some other principle. And from that, you get an infinite number of possible answers. And so I think that that's kind of a context that you can use to understand Spinoza's philosophy. You have to understand that rationalism, the idea that knowledge is primarily found within the ability to reason, you know, this abstract thing that we do with our minds uh, is very related to other fields such as um, math itself, uh, sciences, a great deal of philosophy. So uh, considering the context also of Spinoza's time where he was living in the uh, either during or after the scientific revolution, you know, he had a lot of confidence within these principles to reveal not just objective truths about the world that we live in, but also objective truths about, you know, the world at large. Like, you know, what are the basic principles behind everything else? The only qualm that I have with Spinoza's philosophy that I've not been able to uh, do away with is in both math and within uh, even physics itself, it seems like no matter how many answers you can get with one equation or one form of matter, that it seems difficult to do 
anything with that without some other existing principle, right? Um, at the same time, in physics, there is this notion called matter-energy equivalence where, you know, all matter can be turned into energy and all energy can be turned into matter. So maybe Spinoza is right. Maybe, you know, everything is... That, 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 that is, in a sense, what Spinoza was getting at. Um, I just I just don't logically get it. it. It it's just it's not something that I intuitively understand. I have to kind of make some concessions to be able to think like that. But overall, Spinoza is a very interesting philosopher, and I would certainly recommend for um, you know anyone who's familiar with philosophy, who you know is kind of. Uh, familiarize themselves with like philosophic language and that sort of thing to definitely like get like you know check out Spinoza he has a lot of very um, interesting points and he's a very enlightening philosopher all right good day